Having dipped their toes in the water last season as HWA Race Lab, Mercedes-Benz EQ have transitioned to a full factory entry for this season. The highly rated Stoffel van Dorn remains after a promising debut season featuring a pole position and a podium. He's partnered by Nick de Vries, the newly crowned Formula 2 champion, who'll be looking to stamp his reputation on the Formula E grid and establish himself as the top rookie in the series. It's the youngest lineup on the grid, but will their investment pay off? So yeah, I'm uh, settling nicely with uh, Mercedes EQ. This is the first, you know, first time we really hit the ground. Uh, on official testing with all the different parties involved and everyone being, being race ready. So uh, yeah, it's exciting and I uh, hope that we can uh, get out of the garret soon as well. With the decorated history in sports cars, touring cars and Grand Prix racing, Mercedes have a lot to live up to as they make their Formula E debut. They'll be aiming to build on the foundation of HWA with consistent points and podiums and maybe even a championship challenge. Mercedes-Benz automotive heritage is unmatched, with a history that stretches all the way back to the 1880s and the creation of what is considered to be the very first motor car. eighteen eighty six brought with it the Benz patent motor car, a nine hundred and fifty four cc one cylinder engine and widely known as the world's first automobile. 1901 brought the Mercedes 35 PS, a 6-litre, 4-cylinder motor with a top speed of 75 km per hour. This was the first automobile that featured the name Mercedes and widely regarded as the first modern automobile. The 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196R was a 2.5-litre, straight 8-cylinder motor. The 196R won nine of the 12 races it entered, with Juan Manuel Fangio and Sterling Moss at the wheel. 1954 brought with it the infamous Mercedes-Benz 300 SL with gullwing doors. The 3.0-litre straight-six motor was the sports car of the century. The 300 SL's tubular frame was derived from race car technology. The 1983 Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.316 set 12 international endurance records, clocking an average speed of 248 km per hour over 50,000 km at the Nardo test facility. The 1989 Sauber Mercedes C9, a 5-litre twin-turbo V8. The C9 won all but one race in the 1989 World Sports Car Championship and scored a double victory at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The 1997 Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR with 600 brake horsepower and a 6-litre V12 engine. Only 25 road-going CLK GTRs were built, 20 coupes and 5 roadsters. 1998 brought with it the McLaren MP4 13, powered by a Mercedes-Benz V10 engine with 780 brake horsepower. The McLaren MP4 13 was the first car to grant McLaren an F1 constructors title since 1991. The 2012 Mercedes AMG C Coupe DTM, with 483 brake horsepower and a 4-litre V8 engine. The AMG C Coupe had a carbon fibre monocoque to keep drivers safe and the car light. The 2014 Mercedes F1 W05 Hybrid. This was the first Mercedes F1 car to feature hybrid technology and at the end of the season, Lewis Hamilton won his second F1 driver's title after 2008 with McLaren Mercedes. The 2019 Mercedes-Benz EQC, the first all-electric Mercedes-Benz. With 300 kilowatt and 402 brake horsepower and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 4.9 seconds. Finally, the Mercedes-Benz EQ Silver Arrow 01. 335 brake horsepower, 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.7 seconds and a top speed of 280 km per hour. Can Mercedes live up to their history? We'll learn more when the season kicks off at the Diria E-Prix on the 22nd and 23rd of November.